Well, I, I, I guess the reason we do this for me and my wife and family is we just don't know anything different. Right, I'm uh, Clay Schuster and I farm and run cattle in the Goldendale area. It's a fifth generation operation. We have a, a neighbor that helps me quite a bit and, and he made the comment one day that Royce and Whitney was the fifth generation of my family that he's known face to face and uh, really hoped that they would be able to uh, continue on with the family business and tradition. We run two separate herds of cattle, a, a seed stock herd where we raise bulls and heifers for sale to other producers, and then also a, a commercial herd of uh, crossbred cattle, and those calves are what ends up on the dinner plate. The majority of the cattle are in the Northwest are run on range lands that aren't farmable. Grazing that land helps reduce the fire danger, which helps the entire ecosystem, and it helps protect the developed areas that are springing up in the middle of the, the wildlands and the rangelands. The cattle run on uh, native grasses and uh, crop residue. With crop residue, it's after any uh, uh, commercial crop like uh, wheat, corn, hay, is harvested, there's uh, residue left on that field. And we're able to come back in with the cattle afterwards and, and use that uh, crop that, part of the crop that wasn't harvested is, is feed for the, for the animals. It absolutely makes us more sustainable. We have to maintain the best possible health for those cows and calves, uh, especially with the seed stock herd where there's 80 plus years worth of genetics that have been built up in those cows that's that's priceless the biggest most important thing i learned is that we have to take care of the cattle if you're not taking care of your cattle your horses all the livestock that we're using um, they won't take care of you and to, to ask them to provide for me and the family without uh, giving them the the best possible care um, just wouldn't be right.